Elon Musk announced bigger upcoming layoffs and talked about what employees need to do to stay at the company, but requirements are not easy to meet, and Musk says probably most of the employees will be fired. Musk also revealed what was happening in the company and what was a typical working day for Twitter employees before he bought the company. Then, as Elon recalled, when he arrived in the main office on the first day, he gave two choices to every single employee. So, as Musk revealed, these choices were the exact reason why he fired 7,500 employees. As Musk said, now the company has the remaining 2,000 employees working very hard. Furthermore, these ex-employees just sued Elon Musk. As they claim, Elon promised various things, convinced them to leave the company, and didn't fulfill his promise. Moreover, it's interesting to point out that the capricious nature of justice is not lost on Elon Musk. A few months ago, prior management hired a consulting firm to persuade Musk to purchase Twitter, as Elon was cancelling the deal. Now, this same consulting company is suing Twitter, with Musk being CEO, and they want something that was promised by previous management. Well, it demonstrates how swiftly fortune can change. So, a lot is happening with Elon Musk right now, and let's explain everything. While having a discussion with famous venture capitalist and podcast co-host Charmuth Palahapitia, Musk was asked how he determined the perfect amount of employees that would enable Twitter to reach its full potential. Elon Musk elucidated his thought process when it came to selecting who would stay with the company, anyone who is exceptional at what they do, where the role is critical and they have a positive impact on others and who they trust, which means that he has taken over the company interests before their own should remain. He accentuated that staff members have to be willing to work hard, further stating that this was not a part of Twitter's previous culture. As you know, on October the 27th, after a successful $44 billion acquisition deal came to fruition, Musk proceeded to let go of roughly half of the company's employees. What's more, he dismissed executives and personnel who questioned his authority over the organization. Musk gave his employees two options, comply with his ambitious vision for Twitter 2.0, work long hours at an intense level of productivity, or else be dismissed from their positions. Conversely, some of the Twitter staff chose to resign due to Musk's alteration in culture, as well as worries concerning what lies ahead for the platform. On the All In podcast, Elon Musk revealed that Twitter currently has around 2,000 full-time employees and a whopping 5,000 contractors. Although this is substantially fewer than the 7,500 it had at the close of 2021, these contractors are responsible for almost all aspects concerning trust and safety tasks on the platform. Also, Elon Musk shared his experiences on Twitter, mentioning that while there have been moments of difficulty and hardship, the page is heading in a good direction. He believes he has made some positive contributions to the platform. Ever since Musk has been in charge of the company, he's altered some features on the site. To name a few, viewers can now see how many times a tweet has been viewed, and Twitter Blue's subscribers benefit from blue verification ticks. Additionally, he's restored several suspended accounts and proclaimed substantial shifts to content regulation methods. Recently, Twitter has been embroiled in multiple lawsuits from previous employees claiming misconduct. Elon Musk proclaimed that he would relinquish his role as CEO of the company soon after finding someone foolish enough to take the job. On the All In podcast, Musk proudly proclaimed that even though his company was sure to make mistakes in their acquisition journey, they successfully managed to recover quickly. He stated, One of the first things I said after completing the acquisition was, we're going to make a lot of mistakes, but then we're going to try to recover from them quickly. And we did. Musk ardently justified his decision to briefly impede the accounts of a group of journalists. Elon Musk has expressed that these reporters were banned for doxing him, with some reports claiming Twitter had suspended at Elon Jet, an account which used publicly available info to track his private jet. According to Musk, the journalist suspensions were intentional and not accidental. Unfortunately, some journalists felt they could dox others and break rules without any repercussions, which he considers unjust since that isn't something allowed for your typical citizen. He finds it troubling that certain people feel their status allows them special privileges of this kind. Moreover, controversy appears to follow Tesla, SpaceX, and Twitter CEO Elon Musk wherever he goes. The latest news is that a consulting firm has sued the company for $2 million in payment for services rendered. This was after they were hired by the previous management of Twitter to try and convince Musk to acquire the social media platform. On Thursday, Charles River Associates initiated a lawsuit in a Boston state court against Twitter. The consulting firm declared that its services were hired by the previous executives of Twitter to offer professional testimony which could combat the witness that Elon Musk was likely going to testify with. Back then, Musk was attempting to back out of his $44 billion purchase due to his issues regarding the social media platform's spam and bot accounts. 
Despite the consulting firm's best efforts, Musk eventually purchased Twitter for an impressive $44 billion, making their services ultimately redundant. The irony of justice is certainly not lost on Elon Musk, as often stated via his social media accounts. Before he assumed the helm of Twitter, previous Twitter management hired a consulting firm to urge Musk to purchase the platform. Now that same company has filed a lawsuit against Twitter under Musk's leadership proves just how swiftly fate can turn around. It's quite remarkable that Twitter was sued in December for failing to pay two private jet flights. Leslie Burland, the ex-chief marketing officer of the company, had taken those trips prior to her being fired by Elon Musk after he took over. Private Jet Services Group LLC has alleged that it is due $197,725 for Burland's October 26th flight from New Jersey to San Francisco and the return trip the following day. Reportedly authorized by ex-CEO Parag Agrawal during Musk's acquisition process, these treks occurred at a critical time in business operations. Since Elon Musk took control of Twitter, he has launched an extensive initiative to reduce expenses. This included his controversial decision to dismiss a significant portion of the company's employees, which caused speculation that it would be shut down completely. However, this hasn't happened, and in fact, new features are being unveiled and tested on a regular basis. That's it for today. Subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell.